word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world and we discuss interesting articles weekly. I'm here with Emma. Hey. CJ. Hey. And Maxi. Yo. Alexander wanted to be here so much, but he has tonsillitis this week. Who was you kissing? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> No. Tonsillitis is yucky, hey. It, it's horrible. It's horrible. I've I've had it like four times this year. Um, Who you been kissing? <laughs> this one. <laughs> She's been giving it to me. I um, know. All right, Ems. What's our first article? Okay, first article this week. Lion King. Young Simba. We yeah. all remember what Young Simba sounds like. Yeah. Just Maxi, Maxi, do you know what Young who Young Sim- Simba sounds like? Or do you remember what young young Simba yeah. when he's saying, you know, um, what's Hakuna the girl's Matata. name? Oh yeah, Ak- Hakuna wh- wh- Matata. Wh- wh- when I be- when I uh, when I become king, king is it? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the sound of the uh, the original Simba? Wait. Yeah, from when the original Lion King. Right. Yeah. yeah, the original okay. Simba, the guy that yeah. was the voice of that is Justin Weaver. Ah, okay. and Justin <laughs> Weaver. This article is basically about how he was offered at the time by Disney $2 million um, for that part. Yeah. And his mum turned it down and said, nah, give us royalties. We'll give him royalties. And she was pretty damn smart well, they, to do they, that. They offered, her, they offered him 100000 up front plus royalties. Wow. Well, that's the, yeah, that's the deal he, she ended up negotiating. He made a fortune. Yes. So he Over time, yeah. He Over says time. he way surpassed that two million dollars. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did he say? He's surpassed that. Okay. He goes, I've surpassed that. So basically, like at the time, I think they were already doing re-releases of other stuff. Um, so I think they were they had re-released maybe Sleeping Beauty um, and some other stuff. So he was thinking, hang on. Oh, they were they were coming out with they were just finished with Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Aladdin. Aladdin. Yeah. And they were sort of starting to re-release some stuff. Yeah, like, such as Sleeping Beauty. So he was like, oh, one day this might be re-released. Yeah. His mum was like, if I take the deal now, then he's not going to get anything for that. So that's pretty smart thinking from his mum. Um, it's a, it's yeah. a gamble though, isn't it? Yeah, it who, is who's Justin Weaver? It, that's the young Simba's voice. No, but... Is he like a famous singer or something? I guess he's a singer. Is that him? Yeah. Okay. I guess he's a singer. Do we know what Justin Weaver does today? Well, it says singer. He makes it rain. (laughs) With Simba (laughs) money. (laughs) If you have a look at what what he does today, Maxi, and then um, I've got some uh, facts we can play a little game. Wait, I wonder, Maxi, you said it's a gamble. Do you think it's a gamble? Yeah, if the movie takes. Yeah, I mean, it's Norman's easy in hindsight to say, of course, The Lion King would have been uh, perfect to get royalties in, but I don't know. Did, like, did, Was it obvious back then that Disney was going to be so big for so long? Like, Even now, I wouldn't take... I don't know. If someone offered me now, if I had a role in a Disney movie, if someone said to me, you can take $2 million now, or royalties, yeah. like, I still wouldn't... It wouldn't be an easy decision for me. Because like, mm. how do I know like Netflix isn't going to just kill Disney or... And then I just oh. took two million dollars away. Do you know what I mean? It's like I've never been. I've never had two million dollars before. And as soon as I get offered it, I'm probably not going to bet it on any royalties. Hmm. Even though uh, you're probably right, the royalties like even if it was like a seventy percent chance, the royalties would be more. Mm. Two million dollars is still going to make a massive difference to my life, and I can invest it in other ways and still make a different like royalties in a different way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess I was looking at it like, ah. Oh. Of course you do royalties. Well, I think because it was Disney. <laughs> it's, it's the Lion yes. King. Of course it was you Dis- would. It depends on who's doing it. But that's what I'm saying. Even yeah. today, if Disney said to me, I'll give you royalties, I'll just be like, oh. I'm still oh, risking. Really? It's still a risk. Yeah. And today, yeah. Disney, I imagine Disney today are much stronger than they were back in the 90s. Or was mm. it the 90s? Yeah, but like at that time, yeah, 1996. Yeah. yeah, for memory, they came out of Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast. They had a number of number one cartoon movies. Mm. Yeah. So I would have taken the gamble. Like, yeah, it's a good possibility. Though. But I guess the and thing is, they, they the get hundred thousand so. dollars in a short in like the short term, which is also life changing, mm-hmm. but to a different degree. Like, I don't know. It's a tough question. Like, it, if you want to just sit and if your only objective is to sit and make money, then I guess royalties win. But if you want to like do something 
now like you want to do something big you want to create an organization you want to do businesses like why not just take the two million and invest it yeah. and then back yourself do you know what i mean like back yourself instead of the movie because um cj your um uh cousin-in-law he used to be a pro- producer back yeah. and he was massive in the 90s eh? Mm. and like i i overheard him i i was talking to him and he was still he's still getting royalties yeah. now yeah like and he hasn't been producing for years. 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 Yeah, yeah. If, if anyone uses a song that he was did, yeah, he gets a section. He gets paid for it, man. And like, even though like I know royalties will start to taper off at the end, yeah, but it's still like this income that you're not expecting. You, you're not working. You're yeah. like it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I want well, actually. That's the, that's the question. I I I get the logic. But I'm saying to you now, if I said you can have two million dollars, yeah, or um, I don't know. Try and think of them. Like, say if Netflix come out with an amazing series and they're going to give you a bit, uh, lo- royalties for being in it. Like, and it was a series that's popping like most Netflix ones are now. Like, would you take the royalties Ooh. or would you take... Or would you take... Uh, being Netflix, I would take the money. Yeah, okay, I'd what take about, the uh, upfront. What for, is, there, is there a company you would take royalties instead? Disney? Like, Disney, uh, I would still. So if it was Disney today, you'll take royalties instead of I, I $2 million? Ta- I would have taken the royalties so. for 20 years ago. Oh, you believe in Disney 20 that years much? Ago? Yeah. No, but I mean today, from today onwards. Yeah. Would you still take yeah, it now? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I would. D- Disney's pretty powerful I now, wouldn't like. even think twice about it. They, they, yeah. now, they, okay. they now own Fox. Do they Marvel. own Marvel? Yeah, they own Marvel. Disney is worth $130 billion. That was... Uh, Billion. <laughs> 2019 <laughs> revenue. Was that just from last year? That's yeah, according sure. to the Business Insider. Well, um... No, that couldn't be just from one Endgame, year. Endgame, I think, made about a billion. So this Justin Weaver is an actor as well. He's been in some stuff and he was in that one call away song by Chingy. Didn't know that. Um, But here's a little game, okay? I looked up. Don't look, you guys. You're looking. My my guys in Sydney don't look. (laughs) Songs with the highest royalties. Maxie might be the only one to to play this now. Uh, I'm sorry. It was like right in front of me. (laughs) Yeah, like songs with the highest royalties. Top 10. Can you pick any? Can you think of any that you might think would be in there? So, highest royalties to date, according to the BBC documentary. Are they from, are they from like movies? No, no movies. Is it, you, once I'm, you hear, I'm trying to think what definition it, of a royalty is. It, it is happens. it like, does Kanye West get royalties when he releases a song from Spotify? Is that, does that count? No, Kanye West will get royalties if he's um, on a song or he produces a song or his label. Or if the radio plays it. Yeah. Or... So every time his song is used, he gets paid for it. Oh man. I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna base it based I'll on give you a hint. Rich. There's no new ones. They're all like kind of older. The old classical songs. And it happens to everyone. These songs get sung to everyone every year. Well, yeah. One of them. Oh, is it like No, no, but you hear these songs on One of them is <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That happens no to be way. the number one no highest way. royalties. And it's fi- they've made $50 million. million dollars purely in royalties. $50 million. <laughs> Actually, we, 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 we owe them some money because I haven't paid them yet. For my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I owe them for 20, 20. Well, I didn't sing it on my birthday, actually. So I owe them for every other birthday I've sang for. Next. Okay, Whoa. so they've got... Um, the Christmas song. I don't even know what that is. I'd probably we know. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, is, that? is that it? Yeah. Okay, don't tell me that's been trademarked. That's well, nineteen. Can we just? Can we like? Is there a Halloween song? Is there a Halloween song yet? No. Let's can do we do a Halloween song, song and it's try a and try and <laughs> get royalties oh, on that? <laughs> we trademarked as well. They got no, we pretty woman. We gotta do an original one and just sing it to people at Halloween <laughs> and just try and <laughs> we can we can spread it out throughout the big audience we built over the over the fifty episodes we've nearly done now, <laughs> <laughs> and we can get people singing a Halloween song and then every time it's featured on a on a movie or something we can just take the royalties. How about that? Yeah. The B side yes. word Halloween. Yeah. Add it to our business business, business ideas. ideas. Um, nice yeah. So one. Pretty Woman is another one. We've got Every Breath You Take. Police. Yes. The police. Twenty five oh. mil. We've got Santa Claus is coming to town, 25 oh, mil. That makes Stand sense. by me, yep, 27 mil. Wow. Unchained mm. Melody, 27 and a half. Love that I song. I wasn't going to get any of these apart from like the, nah. the traditional birthday and Christmas ones after you gave me a clue. Yep. Yesterday That's by tough. the Beatles, 30 mil. Oh, this is a good one. You've lost that loving feeling. 
Who's 32 that? 32 mil. That's the one on Top Gun. Oh. The love and feeling. Oh, the feeling. <laughs> and then <laughs> White Christmas, 36 mil, and then Happy Birthday. So this is this leads on to um, property, intele- intellectual property. I guess so, yeah. Um, mm. Like Prince, Prince was massive on this. Like every time a new um, talent came into the scene, he was always like, whatever you do, own your stuff. Yeah. Because mm. there are so many artists that get stuffed over by producers and all these other big companies. Like TLC, I didn't know, but TLC, won, when they won two Grammys, they were dead broke. A, a lot of like musical artists are broke, man. Even I, Taylor I know, Swift like doesn't was, own all It was like her TLC was like being played everywhere during the 90s and they had this, like they broke they broke down. They're like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of putting this charade up and I'm going to tell you that we're, we're dead broke. Mm. And I'm like, TLC? Hmm. And then they had to tour like hardcore to get yeah, money and stuff. A lot of them make money off the tour. Yeah, but like not even, uh, look. Not even something to like, not even to like, l- like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, like, most artists that sign the new contract of a record label, they would get the touring money. Yeah. But all the um, stuff. And the clothing and the merchandise? Yeah, they got they get heaps of free stuff. No, no. Like when they sell their merchandise, do they get it? Probably depends. Unless they've actually designed it and they've trademarked it. Oh, man. But the label mm. itself would make the money of all the sales of the music. That's yeah. crazy. That's cr- it's just. That's true. It's crazy. But yeah, it is. Have you um like I know guys who've got songs, right? And they're on TV now. The label's getting the money for that song, not them. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I that's guess what I'm saying. Taylor Swift, all her albums up until this latest one, she doesn't own any of them. And then the her record label but, that she but Taylor left. Swift's not broke. No, nah. but she tours a lot. No, they get a, they get a fair whack, of course. But it's it's mm. it's, a, it's based on a salary she concept instead yeah. of yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have any but say about not all record lab- labels operate the same. But I think that's the there's a few big ones that have sort of monopolized the industry, and yeah. they do their very best to like whenever there's like uh, threats for other record companies to come up or record labels to come up, they'll just like overspend and just like block down the industry so they'll just give crazy money to the radio to make sure it's only them they're using yeah yeah right yeah. Uh, here's you know. a fun fact where does the name royalties come from i am oh royal family yes yeah it it's feels like it's that that yeah. way well um, feels like taxes you would be right but Lord, it's from it lordy <laughs> back in the day and still actually Lord. when people would dig for minerals they would pay a certain amount to the royal family that own the land. Um, oh, so. so there's all, it's like there's licensing and all that. And there's one that's called mineral, whatever, mineral royalties, which is the same, but it derives from back then when people would dig for minerals. Interesting. I know. There you go. There you go. We're very factual on this show. Very factual. Very. So many facts. <laughs> we, we even just told young artists what happens to them when they go to get a recording contract. <laughs> <laughs> But we're in a new we're in a new age now. It's possible to use Spotify. Yeah, it, it actually Facebook, is. It's YouTube, actually Instagram kind of changed the industry. There's no longer that one funnel in, which is the radio. You can go anywhere. You can yeah. use any platform. So go out there. Go out there and get it. Just like Be we an are, right? Independent artist. Yeah, but then you don't get the ma- the great production that some of these other guys are getting. Mm. Have you seen Please. our production, CJ? You all you have to do, right, is build a wall. And then you've made yourself a studio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trump. <laughs> Who do you think you are, America? <laughs> okay, so there's a tweet and next to the tweet, so in the tweet there's a picture and then there's a screenshot of someone's messages to his mate. A conversation between two conversation people. Conversation between two people. Yeah. And it says... And this tweet is by at Jem underscore Jem XOXO. And Jem says, I've just convinced my mate that the inside of a cheese grater is in fact a sick new <laughs> nightclub. <laughs> and she's put the picture of the cheese grater on the inside and it oh. actually looks awesome. Oh, look at that skewed perspective. It That's actually weird. looks really but awesome. It's weird because the end of the cheese grater looks like it could be where the stage is. Yes. 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 It does. So it goes, 
This is the conversation. Trippy AF, where is it? And she goes, sure, ditch. Shall we go? And the friend's like, yes, please. Imagine being on, oh, imagine being, <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine being on something in that gaff, probably freak out. And then she goes, I reckon you'd have a great time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh. this place looks, this, I would go to this place. Yeah, you, you'd be the only I, one I'd and it'd only be your hand. <laughs> <laughs> no one else would be able to fit in there. I would go I wanna, to the great club. Wait. That is so funny. I think Max has gone to get a great, a cheese grater. Has he? I think so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, has. yay. <laughs> oh, 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 I love it. We're in the club. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, then I'd leave. Then I'd leave when Max's eyes poke through the end. <laughs> he looks like a creepy man looking inside the club. <laughs> like, oh, look at the ladies. That looks so good. How did they do that? I reckon, <laughs> see how the opening it's moves that to the left? Western. <laughs> huh? It's now a Western what? club. Make sure, you know the bigger part? Make sure you don't see that yeah. and then skew it. What bigger part? Only cup. Bigger part. Spin oh. it. Do a 360 of it. Yep. And then move that to the... Keep that move. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Those side those yeah, side there. grates, the long side ones. There you get go. Rid of those. It there. Oh, I got you. Uh-huh. Uh, Is it on top now? So uh, not as good as the picture, but it still, <laughs> it still oh, yeah, looks yeah, yeah. half decent. But, uh, do you know why? Because of the lights. <laughs> yeah. Well, because uh, you can see Max's face on the it's other It's not side. as great as the picture on the uh, tweet. Oh. Yeah, that That's the same joke. Oh. It's the same joke that was on yeah, the tweet. Oh. I, I thought it was funny the first time. <laughs> the second time, not so much. Oh, my God. I did a, I did a thought experiment um, this week with uh, one of my friends at the Human Aspect. Yeah. Okay, um, let's do that. I don't know how we led to this. I don't know how we led to this conversation, but this, this will be a bit like a Max fact. But um, the... We were trying to figure out like how much, you know, Jeff Jeff Bezos, yeah, yeah. the owner of Amazon. We was like, how much money does he really have? And we're trying to like understand it in like human terms. Yeah. So if we come, we figured it out that if we earn a million dollars every single day, so if I earn a million dollars every single day of my life, yeah, it would take me three and a half lifetimes to have as much money. What? Jeff Bezos, if Bloody I save every single hell. penny. I don't understand. So, how much is he worth? Uh, that was based on a hundred billion dollars, but he's worth a little bit more than that. So it's like I think it's about hundred and eight billion dollars now. So to get to that amount, every single day of your life, if you got given a million dollars, you're like, "Whoa, a million dollars!" Oh my god! And then someone gives you another one the next day, another million dollars. <laughs> you have to do that every single day for three and a half lifetimes. Over three and a half lifetimes because he's worth a bit more than 100 it, Yeah, it says 108 billion. 108 billion. You have to do that for three and a half lifetimes. So you... How is that three and a half lifetimes? And then... How much is he worth? That's how... 108, 108 billion. dollars. Oh. <laughs> Damn, he's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's how crazy. the hell did they get that much money? <laughs> What's you the point? It even... wasn't from working like hard every day because it's you can't do that. It's not like I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna sell a hundred of these today. I'm gonna sell a thousand of these tomorrow. Like that's not how it works. You don't get to that rich. Yeah, by, by... working you, you, hard you that way. You get that rich by after all that money, you get like a nice hairpiece kind of thing going on. No, he doesn't want to be like known as that guy that wears the fake toupee. No, no, but you get like one day to actually put real hair on your head and actually like. I mean, uh, look. I, if I was that rich, I'm not worried about my looks at that. Like you are, you're like, if your thinking is above appearance, it's above what people like, you know what I mean? You're, I think bold, bold suits him. He, he, he looks like a, <laughs> you say that villain. when he's got his money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be saying that if he was a broke guy on the side <laughs> of the street. Oh, you get some hair, man. <laughs> but as soon as he looks guy like got a guy got $110 billion, oh, I like your <laughs> hair. <laughs> All that garbage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, so he graduated Princeton with an electrical engineering and computer science degree. He put that to good use. Yeah. Mm. 
This is the thing. Are How these are people stops? born different? What do you mean? They're just like him and like Bill Gates. Like, are they just born with just geniusness? I, I don't think you have to be. I don't think it's just a genius to become this. Like, I think there's a lot of luck involved, mm. and I think it's a uh, luck, hard it's work, a certain mindset. But I don't mindset. think. I think it's like. There's so many people that it could have been. Yeah. Because all their stories, big, though, big difference. like when you when they do sort of bios, it's like they're always like when they're described by their peers or family, it's like they were always different or they were always had something about them. I yeah, oh, I don't know. Hundred and eight billion dollars. That's say that now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess know yeah, that. you could just say that in hindsight. Go, oh yeah, yeah, he was different. <laughs> I think you just have to know who you are, like get to know who you are as a person, and then just execute every day. Just no. keep doing what you what you like. Just execute. Just do it. Seriously, I think there's a lot of people that overthink stuff to like to to follow their dreams. They they plan too much or whatever, and they don't actually do what they what they dream. Like, could, could, could you imagine all the girls that had rejected him when he was younger? The guys who have a hundred and eight billion dollars. Oh, oh, that does. I like, got a feeling this guy wasn't focusing on girls yeah. when he was younger. Mm-mm. And I, I, I he probably was. They probably weren't focusing on him. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. I reckon if you, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, I just, it just, it just when you think like a million dollars every day That's for your whole lot. life, there's one guy that owns like that amount of money or assets, whatever you want to call it, and then there's continents or like countries and people with that can't eat or drink water daily. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey. And like, I don't. How does that happen? Like, how does? That's so nuts. And what you just said, there's an actual article here from two days ago. It says the average Australian must work 2.7 million years to match Amazon CEO, th- to match his wealth. Yeah, but this is like, this is mad that like, but it wasn't overnight success. It wasn't like, it, he worked really hard at the beginning to get this done. Yeah. And it, it was like a very, it was just a simple idea. Wasn't he just selling yeah. books? Yeah, selling books. Online? And now he's with $108 billion. I will sell you if I will get $108 billion. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't feel like, when did Amazon come about? I don't time feel ago. like it was that long ago. 10 years? 15 years? That's a long time ago. Not really. Have a look. I swear he looks like a villain. 1993 books, a online ago. bookstore. It's a long time ago. Oh, and he did it from his garage, guys. Oh, we're, we're we're making it. There's the, on on uh, Instagram. There's always um this picture of him with this um like old ass computer and this just a uh, just a desk just filled with paper and and a full head of hair. And he was he was <laughs> doing he was packing the books himself. Yeah, it was incredible. But I feel like all those things that made people have made people rich have already been done now. Like nah, no way, no way. No, that really? is not even close. We're like. The internet is like 10 years old. Yeah. No, but those... What we can do with the internet is so primitive compared to what we're going to be doing in 50 years' time. Like the okay. whole landscape would be completely different. I'm talk- I guess I'm talking about starting a new business, trying to think of something that hasn't been done yet. Like... No way. You have to think of something that but Every time need. something else is created, you can now do something new with that new thing. Yeah. Like there's always something else that happens. Like... Is it? Is it? I think it's easy. I think today is actually easier than ever to create businesses that change the world, especially in the app space. Like, there's so many apps that are just waiting to be done. Do you, f- do you feel like, like people smash. are just trying to Every think of stuff to like to to create a business instead of like trying to think of stuff that will affect them? Like, how do I say this? You're trying to think of a business that you probably won't like in like a year's time mm. instead of like. Thinking about mm. what would help you in your daily life and making thing, that into the things business. that help you in your daily life have probably been done. Like everything I can think okay. of, if I look, it's probably been done. There's probably uh, something uh, like, like, doing. like this guy here. No, did, did, did he create this company just because he likes books and he was sick of going to the book, bookstore? Maybe it'll be something stupid. Most of most of the time, when you hear about a success story, is someone that tried to scratch their own itch. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Into like but that's a, the thing. Like, like Facebook, the same. Uh, Microsoft, I think, was similar. Like, it often comes from that sort of space. And Elon Musk is like the king of that. Like, he just sees something he wants to solve and he solves it. Yeah. It's more about problem focused stuff. But you get a lot of companies which, and successfully do so, by the way, a lot of companies will just set up a system which 
knows they know it works they make the company worth a lot of money and then they just buy it out like they sell it and move yeah. on and do the same again it might take them two years at a time and they just keep cashing out and for them what motivates them is just getting money like that's a different yeah. way to do business but it's a very successful way and very common way to do business businesses as well huh. but um so you're just going to find something that you need i don't know that could make your life easier. And I've also, got like, so to many make ideas. a lot of money, you don't have to have an idea which is new either. Like, that's not... You can make a crazy amount of money on an idea, but just doing it better. Yeah. Mm, like, like when Uber... Like, the idea that has to be a new idea is a bit of a... Like, when Uber came out... About too much. How much... How many other, like, share vehicles came out at the same time? Ola? I remember Taxify? Oh, I don't know. Taxify? Yeah, but you're saying, like... But then Uber mm. still, like... You know, I understand, but you said there had to be a new idea that other people no, just like. No, I don't bang. think it has to be new. It just is harder because then you're competing, obviously, against existing markets. Yeah, but it's like, harder because you're competing, but it's actually easier because there's already an audience yeah, a market. made for you. That's true. Like you, you, they just they basically create this audience for you. You go, hey, audience, look, I've got a product which is very similar to what you're using, but it's actually it's better. Mm. And they're like, okay, I'll go to you instead. To be, to be, it's, it's easy. It's cheaper to market because you've got like a predefined audience to market to. Like it's not a. You converted me. It's not tough it's probably easier i'd say coming with an uh, uh, existing idea and making it better yeah. than it is i think we should sell books and call idea. it sahara i think one thing you need to know about business is it's not the idea that is the winner it's the execution yeah so you can you can have the best idea in the world if you don't execute you don't it execute. it doesn't matter and you can have the worst idea in the world if you execute it in the right way you'll probably make money. but i feel like as long as you keep executing like even if your one business fails if you keep constantly just executing ideas huh. after ideas you're going to learn don't, the more your freaking mistakes don't worry I'll, can... I'll execute the the, the um, baby formula gang <laughs> <laughs> and take the formulas to sell them to other people is there anything else you want to talk about or add to this jeff bezos um what do you do? Do you want to be as rich as this guy? Yes or no? No. No. Same here. I, I don't think anybody should. Be. I don't think Jeff Bezos got a, like a big ticker on his um on his wall that says 109 billion. I don't think and then like I don't think um flares come out and go, "Yay, another billion." I don't think No, like I know, that. But, but, but do you think he's more depressed being uh, do you think the richer you get, the more depressed you get, like the more I lonely you feel? I I, th I still think he's on problem solving um thinking. I don't think he's ever thought of Well, you get to a stage where you don't even need to think about money. He's he's not even thinking about money. It's like he doesn't probably care anymore cuz he hit that stage like I think he hit that stage about 10 years ago. Yeah. But he still keeps growing. Yeah. Yeah, he, he must become bigger. So he's obviously, he's obviously got his, his motivations a bit different, I guess. Yeah. But then but it turns from a money thing into a power thing. So then influence. people maybe ch yeah, maybe. maybe chase the maybe power then right? and don't want to lose the power. At the end of the day, like I would like to have money, but not that just too much. Like yeah. Oprah's got a lot of money, but she has more influence. Her influence, like ratio to money uh, to influence, is uh, like I don't even want influence. First one, I like, you know. Be happy. Yeah. I think a cool f five mil, I'll be like, yeah. Because that guy's probably by himself at the moment. <laughs> just working. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I think he's happy in his own mind. No, he's not. No, he's not anymore. But Jeff Bezos won't be ha won't have to work hard now if he doesn't want to. No. He can pay someone to work hard for him. Mm. No, he, lo Did you say hard or lonely? Like if he's probably by himself in his big house. Walking around with no one there to talk to. But I, I feel like to. there's a lot of. He has a family. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's worth 113.7 billion now. Damn. As of August. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> Max okay. Facts. Haven't you just recorded it and just used it the, sa the same one? No, it's 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 every, every week has different. has a new flavor. Oh, I just thought you using the same one. Nah, I've done that many flavors, and you should have like twenty of them. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to go back because I I file them away. Why why don't you just go back record it? I just said because I file them away. Stop filing stuff, <laughs> Maxi. <laughs> hit us up with the facts. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm just going to come straight out with a fact this week because I don't know how to make it a question. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I'll ask a question, but it's a bit of... So, a leopard... I'll get, okay, I'll give you multiple choices. <laughs> okay. You can guess which one it is. But... I think the answer is leopard. Is it how many spots does it have? <laughs> no, I don't think that's consistent <laughs> with all of them. 
the question is how much weight can a leopard carry up a tree what? relative to his own body weight? Does it have to be up a tree? Well, that's the question. Yes. It, that's, this is the, <laughs> this question. It has to be up a tree. Yeah. <laughs> if you want a different question, I can maybe do a bit of research. But for this question, we're gonna we're gonna stick with up a tree because that's the one that I found. Right? What do you mean relative to its body weight? As in, like, are you looking for a percentage or are you looking for like? Well, any... you're gonna hear the multiple choice. Yes. Let, oh. him, let, him, let him finish the question. Bloody okay, hell. Okay. Go. So the, the the multiple choice is: Can a leopard carry half its body weight up a tree? Carry its own body weight up a tree? Carry twice its body weight up a tree, or three times its body weight up a tree. Oh, I'm, I'm going saying. twice. Yeah, I'm saying twice. Ooh, I'm gonna go three. The answer is three. Yes. Yeah. So a leopard can carry three times its own body weight up a tree. So it can climb a tree and carry three times its own body weight, and it is pound for pound the strongest cat. <gasps> I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? Yeah. But an ant does it seven times its body weight, or 50 times its body weight. <sighs> yeah. What, what is the, it doesn't lift my foot. So the leopard, <laughs> do you mean like when it's, and that's dead weight as well, like something gets killed and then it's dragging it up a tree to eat it? Yeah, yeah it's not helping. The person, <laughs> the weight's not helping itself. <laughs> it's not like, oh, you need a hand? <laughs> Hop on me back, I'll help you up the tree. <laughs> ah. <laughs> So, this, uh, um, what's uh, the strongest insect animal uh, compared to its weight? Like, what can what is the strongest animal well, ratio? Well, here's the thing. This is like a bit of a, um, I don't know the best way to put it, but the smaller something is, the more it can lift relative to its weight, right. just as a rule. Okay. What? Because, so I don't know which one it is, because essentially muscles, m the strength of a muscle is based on its, the like it's two dimensional area. Right. It's not how long a muscle is doesn't make it more powerful. Right? right. So the strength of a muscle is based on its two dimensional area, but the weight of a muscle depends on its 3D, like three dimensional area. Right. So if something gets bigger, it weight increases exponentially more than the power of the muscle. Right. Okay. So that yeah. makes sense. So when, as soon as you bring something down really small, the two, like the proportion of its two dimensional power compared to its weight is much better so it's always going to be the case that small things relative to their own size are more powerful so when like if you brought a ant to our size yeah. it wouldn't be able to lift 50 times its own body weight it's not oh. because the ants are strong it's because it's so small oh because i was going to say i was i was about to say imagine an ant at our size okay so that that just ruined that so thought. we don't need to be worried about it, ants growing. It would still lift a more than enough, I think, because maybe the proportion of muscle to bone, I don't know. But it's not as... It's every single insect can lift a lot more than its own body right. weight as a rule. Like if you took an insect off a... That might be a different reason, but if you took an insect insect off a, like a massive building, it's never going to die because it's just so well packed together. That's just what happens when you're small. All right, all right. There is a wolf-like dog chained up to a to a tree. I don't think. Oh, and he's going crazy. If he if he got loose, okay. This article, guys, is by at she s h e w a n t she want underscore more. Oh, she want more. <laughs> 14. Um, it, it, it's funny how <laughs> he's saying she wants more, but she ain't. <laughs> <laughs> he made that He made that name it, for this very moment. Yeah. <laughs> and so, someone like Emma could say it and then realize what she said. Oh, yeah. She said. <laughs> it's got by Ron Lee Swagger. Anyway, he says, what y'all doing if this MF got loose? And it's a dog going crazy. But he looks like a wolf. He literally looks like a wolf, this dog. And I'll he's it, chained it up to a tree. Though. Yeah. On a good day, it looks very huggable. <laughs> yes. But this is the thing. I can't, I don't know exactly what type of um, dog that is, but it looks like the dog that actually is known as the, um, the nanny, nanny dog. Have yeah. you heard of that? No. The nanny dog? What's a nanny it's dog? It's the ones that rescue people um, like from drowning. Let me just see. Nanny dog. Um, nah. that one. 
It looks that's a s- you look a husky. Yeah, that was a s- oh yeah. Um, it says in here what type of dog it is. What so is it? Hopefully. Oh well, well, someone's asked, and then I'm gonna see the response. Either. This one, this one. But I don't. I, it turns out I don't know how to use Twitter. How the hell do I look at the comments? Oh, like it's a Caucasian Shepherd apparently. Oh. oh. Caucasian. Okay, so I think in their normal type of thing, they're supposed to be quite. That's it. Really, oh, no. sort of. It's a Tibetan Mastiff. That's oh. the one. Tibet- Tibetan, Mas- Tibetan, Tibetan Mastiff. <laughs> Tibetan, Tibetan Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff. Yeah. I thought it was a Newfoundland. Or someone else suggests it's a bear. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but th- that dog would have been harmless. But the owners probably mistreated it, and which is why it's acting out. Yeah, I thought oh, maybe it, was, it might not even be. It might just be like if, that, say, if it's in your house and someone comes on your land, do- some dogs go crazy. Then they turn around, and they lick their. Yeah, kids, their owner, like kids, yeah. the the owner, like could be a lot of things. Could that's be like someone taunting it. Do, yeah, right? dog also dog. someone taunting it. Well, I'm going to show you another video of what that dog is is usually like. It's it's brilliant with um. If you scroll down, Maxi, to one of the comments <laughs> by <laughs> Shaitan Agarwal or Chitan C H E T A N, the dogs the the girl is in the ocean playing around and she falls down, and the dog. Grabs her t-shirt and pulls her out until she's out of out Aww. of the waves, and that's that's the nanny dog, the Newfoundland. They they rescue people from drowning quite a lot. Yeah. Oh wow! And I look, he's, he's grabbed her t-shirt and he just keeps pulling her out, getting her safe. Isn't that so? My, all right. Don't. don't stupid. Though. And then don't, he just lies down. Don't worry about the dog, right? Don't worry about that dog. Yeah. Dogs in general. Yeah. Go. So you're walking down the street and this dog is there and it's a big ass dog. It's not like, it's not a chihuahua. It's not one of these uh, like Maltese. Chihuahua you've got to be scared of as well. Well, <laughs> like it's it's a fair fight with the chihuahua. You know what I mean? Okay. But like <laughs> Fair fight for who? <laughs> for me. It's a fair fight. Like I've got, you know, anyways. So if it's an Alsatian or a big dog, a mm. bigger dog, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about a golden retriever or a Labrador. I'm talking about a, <laughs> a dog that's known You're to be... You're talking about a Rottweiler. Uh, no, like not Rottweiler. I'm just talking Alsatian. about bigger dogs that have it in them to like... I, I guess all Kill dogs you. have it in yeah. them to turn. It's come... You, he's looking at you. You're looking at it. Are you going Are you going past the dog? Are you going backwards and going the long way around home? I'm going, hey, boy, how oh, are dear. you? <laughs> you're not. Eh? I have had it where I was you're walking not. to work. Okay, if you if you turn and go the other way, yeah. they smell fear and they'll come for He's you. He's gonna know you're scared, and it's more likely you're gonna get bitten. If you go, hey boy, like or hey, hey girl, come here. And you give him a pat. You friends. You say that as you sit on a sofa in a garage. <laughs> no, but like <laughs> a lot of my family members have big dogs. Yeah. Again, they're like it's controlled environment. I'm talking about you're like, like you're when you, there. When you're you there. first meet the dog, you're like, yeah. Uh, unless it's barking at you or growling, you're right. Mm. If it starts going, then you, you could be. What, what type of growling does it have to be doing? Showing its, teeth, it. showing its teeth. Showing its teeth. Because it's not showing its teeth, it's right. looking to protect itself. Mm. So you're, it's scared of you. Right. So what do you do? You stand still? Do you keep walking? I do not know. I would. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying the dog's right there. Like, it's you're like, it, it's a fair distance away. Do you keep going or do you walk the other way? Unless you're showing his teeth, there's no point. See, like, I love I love dogs, but that freaks me out when there is a loose dog because you just never know. So, like, I was yeah. walking to work once and it was crossing the M7, all like about f- six lanes of traffic, and M7 or uh, Windsor the M7 Road e- exit, yeah, yeah entry, yeah. sorry, yeah, yeah. on the way to Bella Vista. Yeah. And there was a Rottweiler by itself and it came, it was with some, it was with some kids on the other side first. I thought, oh, it must be their dog. And then it came over to me. It wasn't, it wasn't with them. And I was like, oh, like, cause it was like, cause you just never know. But then it just started following me, like just right next to me, walking with me. And I was like, oh God, oh my God, oh my God. But I thought, okay, well it's friendly, but it just gets your heart going, doesn't it? As soon as you see. And then there was one on our driveway and the kids were getting in the car and I'm like, kids get in the car. And it kept coming, kept coming up on the driveway. I didn't realize it was behind me at one point. And I turn around and there's this dog there. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like, ah, <laughs> kid, shut the door. 
Yeah, but I and that's the thing. I love dogs, but you just never know. So I've or I've had a big. I've been tra- traumatized by having a uh, by big dog, right? So I was in year year seven, so I'd have been twelve. Yeah. I've been twelve, and I'm walking home, all right? Mm-hmm. And like I'm walking home, it's a normal day, and all of a sudden I've got my head down, just kicking this rock, right? I look up, and there's this dog across the road, and he's looking straight at me, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, shit, you right? Ran, didn't you? I didn't run. But there was like, you know, they said they could smell fear. Yeah. It was oozing out of me. If it was, <laughs> if I could do anything right, it, you could bottle it and you could sell it like Chanel number no. five. It was just like fear. Fear Chanel number one. Fear number one, fear. right? And I'm walking and I said, oh, stuff this. So I start walking a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Starts going to a bit of a jog, <laughs> right? And just then sprint. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, that's it. I've hit the accelerator. I've gone. Year seven, right? And this dog all of a sudden starts chasing. There's a there's this lorry truck flatbed just to give it an international flavor, right? <laughs> and I've just jumped on the back. I've jumped on the back, and this dog is just there, and he's just like he's barking, he's barking. Anyways, the owner of the truck, right? He sees me on there, and he sees me like just like telling the dog. So he sees me from the he sees my back, and I'm just showing this dog, and you hear this um, old bloke go, "Oi, get off my truck!" I go, there's a dog. He goes, I don't care. I go, you come out here then, <laughs> right? And this guy comes out and then the dog comes around. He he goes back in his house. I Aww. go, there he is there. So the dog's in between me and the bloke, right? And all of a sudden the dog sees, starts going towards um, the house. And I'm like, I'm like, all right. This is my chance. Right, this is my chance, right? And as soon as like he gets really close up to the door, I hit it. I hit the <laughs> Hit it. I never look back. I just, <laughs> I'm just running. I'm just running as fast as I could. And like, I, I was How like, old were you when this happened? I was probably 12. Probably been, 12 years old. I've been bitten. Oh, okay. I was really young. By a dog you don't know? Yeah. <laughs> You're so casual. Is that because You're of so your. Cash. Come here, little doggy. <laughs> yeah, it was basically, I was like, oh, it's you, good little boy. And I've got a patty. You beat me. Oh, man. But did you pull away? I think it's worse if you pull away. No, no, he bit me. He got his teeth in. I went, ow. <laughs> Bled a bit, you know, got to get a tetanus <laughs> shot. Oh, man. Oh, man. About Deb's mum. And, and, and you still stand by your point that you should yeah. you see a dog that you don't know. At I'm pretty sure one of the first say, rules <laughs> is like, don't touch a dog you don't know. <laughs> um, Deb's well, mum was walking I know home that now. from work. Well, like, uh, when the owner's there, you can touch a dog. When yeah. it's not there, don't touch a dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you get bitten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I'm still the not scared is, of dogs. Like, if, it, if it come down to it, you'd probably win in a fight with a dog, right? Yeah. No, oh, not all know. the time. There's Did so that, many you deaths. Reckon? I think you would. No, I think the, you'd beat a dog. The, but it's just like depends on the dogs. Uh, just don't care. The dogs like I don't know what the dog's thinking. The dog, dog doesn't care if it gets. It's just like nah, yeah, it if you can get control of the dog's head, you you can win. But if it gets latched onto a, a good part of your body. <laughs> You're in trouble. Yeah, even then, like, if it latches onto your body, then you just grab the neck of the dog. Uh, like, if it latches onto your neck, how are you going to grab the dog? Yeah, if but it, there's, it, well, there's so actually quite a lot of One minute warning. That could happen. There's been that a few happen, stories. Saying, most of the times you win in a fight against most dogs. I don't know if there's any big, big enough dogs which, like, proper... Yeah. Like, hunter dogs, maybe. Like, a wolfy ones. Yeah, but wasn't there that one literally about six weeks ago, the guy, the, the father of this guy was looking after his dog... And yeah. the dog turned on him and killed him and the wife or something like that. Did yeah. it kill both of them? Uh, no. It, or just the dad? I think what? just the dad, yeah. Yeah, they were looking and after it. And that was it. the son's, do- son's dog. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even his own. But they were looking the after it. was the killed the dad? Yeah. yeah. It was a... S- I don't know what it was. I don't want to name any dogs because <laughs> all dogs can yeah, be good be dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Is it species? What's it called? Breedist. I forgot Brutus. what it was. They Brutus. did say, but I, can't f- I think it was a... Brutist. Yeah. I want to I I get a British bulldog. I know they're so lovely. This, that's high maintenance. Those, those British bulldogs. Why? Because they've got health them. problems. Oh, that so. one. Yeah. You have to make sure you watch them regularly. Yeah. A- eight years. <laughs> what? They live for eight years. Is that it? That's it. And they're like five thousand dollars. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure there's some that live longer. Sorry to those who have older ones. I think the maximum is ten years. Like I think they get heart <laughs> problems. And, and they're like, years. hey, my British bulldog is twelve. <laughs> My British blogs is twenty five. <laughs> oh. Who? How? Do, how was it decided that seven, seven dog, dog years. years or one human year? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good thing to look up. But they're talking to a dog. How old are you? Seven. He, he barks seven <laughs> times. 
<laughs> so they said, oh, it must be every one year is a seven. <laughs> Fact. Fact. <laughs> you can check it. Siege facts. Siege <laughs> facts. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. 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 Hit the bell.